this video is all about my favorites and the things that I absolutely loved in April. So if you guys want to see the things that I used in April and wore and loved, then definitely keep on watching. All right, so what do you guys think of like the change. I normally have the video made from the front of the bed and not from the side. So let me know what you guys think about like how I switch things up. If you like it better, like from the front view, or if you like it better from the side, I kind of personally like kind of flip flopping just so like the videos don't always look the same, but some people like the videos to look the same. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and drop that below in the comments just so I can know like what you guys like best. But I just thought maybe switching it up would be kind of cool. Let me get into the first thing that I absolutely love during April and one of my favorites. This cardigan was actually one that I did not purchase in April, but I didn't really wear it until April because it was kind of chilly like and snowing and stuff in March and there's like holes in this cardigan it's like a knitted cardigan but I love this cardigan because like the button detail is so cute and I actually got it from a vintage store that's here and I was like so surprised I got this for I think it was like $12 or $15 like this seriously looks like something that would be from mango like it has such a cool detail here like all the way down the sweater and then it has a pocket here and then on the other side it has the same design and then it also has a pocket there but then these buttons are like a really neat material they're like i don't really know how to describe like what they're like but they're really cool like almost like a wooden button i don't know it was just like a really neat find and then look at the back it has the same like pattern on the back and this feels like literally someone just like sat in their home like someone's grandmother and just like put so much attention to detail into this and I love pieces like this that are a great find but that also I feel have a story behind it since this is a vintage find I know that there's a lot of history behind this and since it was from a vintage store I just love it I feel like this makes it really cute when it's off the shoulder and just like more relaxed I think it's perfect for spring because there's the holes that are in this and so basically like if I wear a tank underneath this it would be perfect because of the holes and like the ventilation so I'm not gonna get too hot and I don't know this is just like a I feel like a perfect spring piece and now that the weather is like a little chilly but not super cold I can wear this just over top of like I don't know any tank top or like a dress that's like a t-shirt dress or just like something that's really like relaxed it would be perfect for that so this is my first like April favorite and one that I've been wearing a ton obviously this is vintage so I can't really link it below but I will definitely link something that's very similar to it below that way if you guys want to purchase something like this then you guys will have the same opportunity so yeah that's number one the second thing that I've absolutely been loving during April are these white pants. So these pants are from American Eagle and I love them. They are very similar to the mango jeans that I purchased but I like them these better because they are like more of a higher waist and I love American Eagle's jeans because they're like really stretchy and the bottom they're like these crop jeans which is really cute and I'll show you really quickly like what it looks like on just because I feel like it's always good to have an idea of what things look like on and yeah I think they're just like a perfect white jean for this season so yeah let me try that on for you so you guys can see what it looks like but you can kind of see like what i mean by how high waist they are it's so nice i absolutely love them and they're like really fitted a lot of the time i have a really hard time with like the back of jeans and having like this gap but since these are like a stretchier material i don't really see that as much which is really really nice and yeah, as you can see that these like kind of need to be ironed, but you kind of get the gist of it. So the next item that I'm absolutely loving is actually my husband's, <laughs> but I love the color of it and I'm actually gonna go and purchase it myself from H&M, but it's this men's tee. I purchased it for him like forever ago and I was looking in the closet for like some beige colored items and then I was like, hmm, 
hmm, let's see what's on his side of the closet. And I looked over there and there's like this beige, like button up that has never been worn and still had the tag on it. And so I took it upon myself to like try it on and it looks so cute. So I know that I'm going to be like wearing this until I go pick up one for myself, but this wasn't too expensive and it's just like a regular button up, like I said. It's like um, a very like soft material um, and it's very movable, but it almost feels like a khaki kind of. And I will link this below if it's still available, but I love it and it's so, so cute. I wore it um, with a, actually I wore it with those um, jeans that I showed you guys, but I loved how I styled it. And I just like tied it around the waist and I kept the front part like a little bit more open and I really liked it that way. And if you guys like have any trouble figuring out what to wear or you don't know what to wear, like definitely watch this video that I'm gonna link above because I show you guys some ways to like find cute outfits in things that you wouldn't normally think of using in your closet. And so yeah, this was one of them. I love the color and a lot of the time color is what attracts me to like a piece that I want to style and the pieces that I want to style are usually beige. So, or they're like a neutral tone. So white, something like that. So yeah, um, this one is super cute and one that I've been wearing all April. This is the last item that I've been wearing all April and I feel like it's a perfect like shoe to wear in April just because, I don't know, I feel like April is so like dull and like rainy and cold and gross. And so this just like adds something like lively to my outfits and you guys know that I wear a lot of neutrals and beige and so this like brings in some fun and some color and I really, really love this shoe. The top is really neat. You can see that it has like these little like details up at the top and it's like cut a little bit differently. I'm trying to show you guys so you can have a good look of it, but it's like really hard to show you like how cute it is. It's like a fuzzy type material and these are super easy to walk in. I've walked around downtown in these and went to events and stuff and my feet feel perfectly fine after the end of the night. So I will link these below if these are still available, but I know you guys will absolutely love these if you purchase them. They're just really neat and I really like how like it's not just like a regular boot, but it has like all of this detail right here and all around the top, which I thought was really neat. So yeah, that's my last April favorite. Okay guys, that is all of my April favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys add those items to your wardrobe, I know you guys will absolutely love them. Especially, I was gonna say especially the white pants, but then again, like the button up is really cute. And so is the cardigan. Like honestly, you could probably put the whole outfit together because it's all like neutrals and it'll probably look like just fine. So I will link everything below or something similar if I can't find the exact thing that I purchased. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you so, so much. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and click the subscribe button. I post videos, well, <laughs> I have been posting videos two times a week, but as of May, I have decided that I'm going to post videos three times a week. So as of next week, like the first full week of May, I'll be posting three videos a week. So you guys should definitely be on the lookout. I'm gonna try to stick to like a Tuesday, Thursday, um, Saturday. Since I first like consistently started making videos on this channel, I have been making two videos a week and I've been doing like well with that. I've been loving making videos. And honestly, when I make those two videos, like, after I'm done making them, I wanna make like more. I just am so, so busy. And so now as of May and like next week being the first full week of May, I'm going to make three videos a week. So you guys can look forward to that every single week, seeing my face three times. So I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye.